Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So first up, we'd like to congratulate the winner of yesterday's question. Her name is Miss Ardet Ambersley. If you look on your screen, she gave the first correct answer. Ardet is also asking us to big up the Dalistan Pussy, her brother Percy, aka Cuban, her brother Ratty, her mother and her father, and all of the other family members. Big up on yourself. So in today's journey, we're gonna be traveling from Sheffield in Westmoreland, and we're gonna stop at Bay Road, also in Westmoreland. We're gonna pass through places like Negril Spot, Retreat, New Hope, and Little London. Drive with me. So that that you just heard, it was no fire clappers. It was no other type of explosions. Those were five gunshots. We are unable to show the video on YouTube, but we have the video. If you want to see the video, send us a WhatsApp message. 876-458-9111 That incident, it happened on Wednesday, the 28th of April, 2021, about 10 a.m. It happened in the vicinity of 64 Melbrook Heights in Harborview in Kingston. Our information is that a man, his name is Mr. Everton Peart. He was 56 years old and he was a landscaper who lived in Kingston. Now, our information is that Mr. Peart, he was attacked by a lone gunman. Mr. Peart, he was shot once by this man. As he fell to the ground, the man, he went over him and pumped five more in Mr. Peart's head. Whilst he was doing that, the shooter, he recorded himself carrying out this act. So the recordings wasn't of no CCTV or somebody else recording it. It was the shooter himself who made that recording. Apparently, he wanted to show somebody else. So it was the shooter himself who shared this video. Now if you look on your screen, you're gonna see the shooter's hand with the gun in it. We edit it to take out all of the B-L-O-O-D that was surrounding. If you look on the man's hand, there is a tattoo. I don't know if it is fake, but we are learning that the police have identified a person of interest who they are searching for in connection with Mr. Peart's demise. This is the state where we are in Jamaica. When a man can go over a man, pumped five bullets in his head, and at the same time recording it. If you listen closely, you will realize that even when the bullets were finished, this man was still squeezing. The mayhem continues. In the next story. No man, the four way um get shot up a middle is not too long. Two women there, the whole of them come from Tel Aviv. The whole of them. I done funeral them go and I come back. Baby get shot, the whole of baby try to come out and the other woman get shot in her face and I do immediate surgery. Yeah. But one woman, two women dead from this one. Be a woman get shot. Be a woman get shot. Yeah, so, be yeah, things in uh, my youth. Uh, but we never come for news yet. She ain't dead, She ain't moving. She we are unable to show the video footage because you know how YouTube is. 
Again, if you want to see the video footage, shoot me a WhatsApp message. But we are learning that two women were fatally shot. A third woman and a child, they were seriously wounded and are being treated in hospital. Our information is that all four persons were among passengers coming from a funeral at Medorest. They were in a Toyota Costa bus. As the bus was traveling on St. John's Road in St. Catherine, the bus was shut up. Our information is that the passengers and the bus, they had gone to the burial of an alleged gangster. This gangster, he was popularly called Weed Seed and he was taken out in Tel Aviv in Central Kingston in January 2021. On their way from the funeral, the bus was ambushed by armed men who opened fire indiscriminately. When the shooting subsided, three women and the child, they were found nursing gunshot wounds. They were rushed to a nearby hospital where two of the women were pronounced DEAD. Like we said, the child and the other woman, they have been admitted in serious condition. Up to the time of recording this video, we haven't gotten any information as to their status. But as the story develops, we'll be getting the information and updating you in our next video. I have seen some persons commenting on some of the videos that we do, saying that Jamaica is a failed state. I do not agree with that, but I can understand why persons are saying that. Because sitting down on a daily basis and recording these videos, reading these stories, trust me, it's not an easy thing to do. What I would say is that Jamaica is fast becoming a failed state. We don't reach there yet. In my view, we are not there as yet. But we are heading in that direction if something is not done. And done quickly. In the next story, this one, it at a mother place named Lima District. Well, it might be Lima, it might be Lima. But it's spelled L-I-M-A. This is in the Adelphi police area in the parish of St. James. This one, it happened on Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2021, sometime after midday. Our information is that two men, they live in the same yard. Same yard, but different houses. Both of them are relatives. Both of them share the same last name. They are either brothers or they are cousins. I have not yet confirmed which of the two, but both of them are relatives. No, one of them is 21 years old. He is a laborer and he lives, like we say, at Lima District or Lima. No, he and the other person, the other person's name is Tevin Shah. He's otherwise called Selly. He's 18 years old and he's also a laborer of the said address. Now you hear I said Shah, so you know that is the surname of the other person. But you know on this channel, we don't give the names of victims. So both of them were at the yard. Both of them have been having disputes over a period of time. What the dispute is about, I am not sure. But it is said that Tevin, otherwise called Selly, he brandished a gun, pointed it at the other person, his relative, his 21-year-old relative, and opened gunfire at him. The other man, the 21-year-old man, he received gunshot wounds to the left side of his face, his left shoulder, and his left arm. All of the bullets connected on the left side. His heart is on his left side. It is said that Selly then ran away from the yard. The 21-year-old, he was assisted to a nearby hospital by residents of the area, where he has since been admitted in a serious condition. Tevin Shah is now wanted by the police. Will the same relatives protect him or will they give him up? The cousin who is in the hospital we are hoping that he pulled through. But the question is, did he know that Sally have a gun? Did he the cousin who was shot? Or whether it is cousin or his brother? Did he also have access to that gun? All of these are questions. Because they were in the yard arguing, Sally did not go far to get that gun. It's in the same yard that he went and picked up that gun. So what is happening here? Sally, 
him turn the gun on his owner relative. That is what is happening. Is this Selly's first shooting? Who else Selly might have attacked and took out or injured? What was he doing with the gun? What is he involved in? I am sure the family members, the relatives who live in the yard, they know exactly what is happening. And see, it reached a stage where your own relative is in hospital. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody.